everyone, my name is Skylar Amen. I am the author and illustrator of Lloyd Finds His Whale Song from Page Street Kids. It's my very first picture book. Lloyd Finds His Whale Song is the story of a little humpback whale named Lloyd whose voice is too quiet to sing the whale song. Now, whale song is a real way that humpback whales communicate with one another. And in my story, poor Lloyd thinks that he won't ever be able to sing and talk with his family in the way that he wants to, but that all changes for him when he finds a mysterious ukulele in the kelp forest. I wrote this book because I grew up at the Oregon coast and the ocean has always been a huge part of my life, including watching um, humpback whales like Lloyd migrate right offshore. I've also always written stories and drawn pictures about the ocean, about whales, tide pool creatures, the beach, stuff like that. And in fact, I had been doodling pictures of whales for many, many years before one of them became Lloyd. Then a few years ago, I decided I wanted to learn to play the ukulele. And this opened up the wondrous world of making music to me. And I wasn't very good at all. I had to practice a lot, just like Lloyd. Um, but somehow, between my lifelong love of the ocean and my newfound love of the ukulele, the story of Lloyd was born. So now, let's read the story. Lloyd Finds His Whale Song by Skylar Amon. Louder, Lloyd, sang Mama Whale. If we can't hear your whale song, you'll get lost. Lloyd visualized the whale's song. Ow, he sang, but his voice was so quiet the other whales couldn't hear him. The whale song pulsed through the pod like a collective heartbeat. Each whale was like a star, and they formed a constellation that shone brightest when they worked and sang together. This special melody kept the whales fed, safe, and happy. The southern current is full of fish and krill, trilled Grandpa Whale, and the pod ate their fill. Its rhythm guided them through danger. Swim this way, sang Mama Whale. The water is warm and no harm will come to us. The pod followed the whale song to a quiet cove to sleep for the night. But Lloyd couldn't rest. He swam to the nearby kelp forest. He felt at home in the silence there. Ow, he wept. How will I ever be part of the pod if I'm not loud enough to join the whale song? The kelp didn't answer. Lloyd drifted through the kelp in silence until his tail hit a strange object. It had a long neck covered in symbols made of ancient sea-tumbled glass. Its body was carved from prehistoric driftwood, and it had four storm-strung seaweed strings as old as the ocean itself. He tapped the strings and they sang out, ba ba di ba Lloyd gasped. He had an idea. Lloyd hummed a few bars of the whale song in his quiet voice. He plucked out a matching melody. Those little strings had a big sound. Lloyd hid the strange thing in the kelp forest and returned every night to practice the whale song. He strummed and plucked and tapped and twanged. Finally, Lloyd was ready to play for the other whales. But what if they didn't like his version of their song? Lloyd quivered with nerves and swam toward the pod. As Lloyd reached the nearby whales, he visualized the whale song, but before he could find the courage to play, a thunderous boom cracked through the sea. A giant rumbling beast barreled toward the pod. The sound vibrated through Lloyd's bones. The beast honked and roared and rumbled. Sing, Mama Whale bellowed as the rumble got louder. Everyone sing and we'll stay together. The whales crooned in chorus, but the beast's roar drowned out their song. This way, Mama, Lloyd squeaked, forgetting the instrument at his side. But the whales couldn't hear him. 
Lloyd watched helplessly as the whales scattered. Mama? Lloyd cried. But she didn't answer. The whales and their song had disappeared. But Lloyd realized he still had that little music maker, and he clutched it in his trembling fins. Would it work? He visualized the whale song and began to play. Lloyd played the whale song louder and louder on that supersonic, wave-powered music maker. And the whales heard him. In Lloyd's fins, their beloved whale song reached across the loud sea to even the farthest flung whales. The familiar rhythm swirled through the pod. Their hearts pulsed as one, and they swam toward Lloyd and safety. Lloyd played the final notes and peeked up at the whales. Thanks to you and the way you played your music maker, we've found each other again, cried Grandpa Whale. Mama Whale smiled. What a beautiful whale song you have. The joy in Lloyd's heart swirled like a wave hugging the shore. He plucked out a grateful rhythm. Thank you very much. And with the help of that magical little music maker's big sound, everyone heard him. Now, at the end of the book, there is an extra page here where you can learn a little bit more about how and why humpback whales sing. And there is also a little song that I wrote for Lloyd that can be played on a ukulele. Thank you so much for joining me today to listen to the story of Lloyd Finds His Whale Song. You can learn more about me at my website or visit me on Instagram and Twitter. If you liked the story, you can purchase a copy right now from the lovely Green Bean Books. If you visit my website, you can also find a couple of downloadable coloring sheets as well as a little bit more information um, about the song, including the sheet music and tab for ukulele if you or your family would like to try playing it. Thank you so much for visiting with me today, and I hope you all take care and stay safe.